Item number SCP-1588. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Due to its size, composition, and location, SCP-1588 cannot be relocated and is fundamentally uncontainable. The Foundation shall liaise with the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency to limit sea traffic within the area of the English Channel from which SCP-1588 is clearly visible. Any photographs of SCP-1588 that appear in civilian circulation are to be dismissed as an example of pareidolia. The areas of land above and below SCP-1588 are to be monitored by CCTV and by plainclothed Foundation personnel. The Foundation and local authorities shall discourage civilians from approaching SCP-1588 on foot due to safety concerns. Any civilians coming into communication with SCP-1588 are to be debriefed and administered a Class A amnestic. Literature referring to the history of SCP-1588 and its anomalous properties are to be suppressed and removed from circulation as necessary. SCP-1588 is to be closely monitored for any indications of erosion or geological instability. In the event of an erosion-related collapse affecting SCP-1588, SCP-1588 is to be thoroughly examined and communication re-established as soon as possible, and reclassification to be made as appropriate. Description SCP-1588 is a section of the White Cliffs of Dover, located along the southeastern coast of England, approximately 80 meters in length by 100 meters in height. SCP-1588 is, as are the non-anomalous portions of the White Cliffs, composed principally of chalk highlighted by streaks of black flint. Flint outcroppings within SCP-1588 have produced an image which, when viewed by a human being, vaguely resembles a human face with eyes, nose, and a mouth. SCP-1588 is fully sapient and is capable of sight and hearing, and possesses a rudimentary sense of smell. SCP-1588's field of vision is limited to the area of the English Channel and the northern coastal France, directly in front of itself. SCP-1588 has demonstrated an ability to discern minor details in objects located several dozen kilometers away. In one case, correctly identifying the colors and patterns on a flag held aloft by a staff member standing on the beach at Cap Grisnez, France, approximately 34 kilometers away from SCP-1588. Interviews conducted with SCP-1588 have largely consisted of SCP-1588 describing in great detail various ships and boats it has spotted traveling across and through the English Channel. SCP-1588 has referred to the watching and cataloging of said vessels as its hobby. SCP-1588 is capable of communication by producing low-frequency seismic vibrations within the cliffs it is embedded in, which can be interpreted as human speech by a human being placing their ear to the ground within five meters of the cliff's edge. SCP-1588 is capable of hearing human speech within this radius and holding lengthy conversations. SCP-1588 has been determined to be fluent in modern and archaic forms of English, French, Kentish, Welsh, Gaelic, Manx, Anglo-Saxon, Celtic, Latin, and <laughs> The Foundation became aware of SCP-1588 in 19... When a review of classified documents from World War II indicated that the British government and the Allies had been aware of its existence since prior to the beginning of the war, and had been relying on it for intelligence regarding German naval maneuvers and troop movements along the French coast. Subsequent reviews of local folklore revealed records of British leaders employing SCP-1588 for this purpose, dating as early as the 11th century, with various sources referring to it as the Old Man in the Cliff, the Fairy Face, and King Greenshield. SCP-1588 has claimed not to have a name or to recall its age or origins. Based on descriptions of ships it has spotted, it appears to have memories dating to at least the 8th century. Geological examination of SCP-1588 indicates that it has been exposed to the elements in a state similar to its current form for at least years. Due to geological instability, primarily caused by erosion, SCP-1588 is considered to be at risk of being damaged or destroyed by natural causes. SCP-1588 has claimed to feel pain following major collapses of neighboring sections of the White Cliffs. It is not known at this time whether SCP-1588 consists solely of the cliff face or whether it extends further into the Earth. In the event of a major collapse affecting it, SCP-1588 may be reclassified as neutralized in the near future. Interview Log 15881- Interviewed, SCP-1588. Interviewer, Dr. Forward. On March 15th, 2012, a large segment of the White Cliffs located to the west of SCP-1588 collapsed into the English Channel. Dr. 
contacted SCP-1588 to determine if it had been affected by the collapse. Begin log, 9.38 a.m. Good morning, SCP-1588. There was recently a collapse near you. Are you in any pain or distress today? No, I am just sad. Why are you sad? It has been so quiet lately. Only 378 ships passed by yesterday. Only 378? There used to be so many more. 25,123 days ago, I counted 6,939 ships going south on one day. Do you count every ship you see? Of course. Ships are so fascinating, are they not? I especially like aircraft carriers and wooden frigates, but I rarely see those anymore aside from the museum ships that come through sometimes. I love the very old ships, the ones they start making when the bigger ones came around. The white ship was a pretty interesting one, but I had to close my eyes when it sank. All those little people flailing and screaming and drowning it was most unpleasant. Interesting. So you're not in any pain in the moment, is that correct? Yes, I felt it when the other cliff broke, but it was only for a second. It kind of scares me to think it might happen to me soon. Are you afraid of death? I do not know if I can die the same way the little people on the ships can die. I know that the cliffs are always crumbling and that my brother has not said a word to me since his face fell off. You have a brother? Was there another one of you at some point? I don't want to talk about it. End log.